The warmer weather has arrived, and with it, the great game of Australian rules football. The Boston Lady Demons are ready to take the field, and we're ready to kick off the 2017 season of stateside footy. at Millennium Park in West Roxbury, Massachusetts, where today the Boston Lady Demons will play host to the Columbus Jeweler Roos. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Stateside Footy, the program that brings you the game of Australian rules football as it's played here in the United States. Alongside camera people Yafim Schneiderman and Stacey Robert, I'm Bill Robert, and today we bring you the first half of an Aussie rules doubleheader. The Columbus Footy Club has made the trip from the Buckeye State to the Bay State for a pair of weekend clashes with the Bostonians. First off, the ladies take the field as the Jillaroos face the Boston Lady Demons. And later on today, in a game you'll be able to see in our next episode, the Demons men's side will host the Jackaroos. Today kicks off a big home schedule for the Demons Footy Club this season, with additional dates scheduled throughout the summer against clubs from Montreal, New York, Chicago, and Philadelphia. And we'll get the season started next. As the old saying goes, ladies first. And we'll bring you the match between the Columbus Jewelers and the Boston Lady Demons next, right here on Stateside Footy. And so the players are getting into position now as we get set to start this first game of this Aussie Rules doubleheader. It's the Columbus Jillaroos in town to face the Boston Lady Demons. And here we go. We've got footy on a Saturday afternoon, and it's knocked out of the ruck. No clear clearance yet. No clear possession, although Jewelry's just about to get it. Then she's stopped by a couple of the Lady Ds, and the ball's kicked forward to toward the Lady Ds' goals. And here we go. Lady Ds have it now. Handball goes off, and she kicks it. That kick is smothered. That's a beautiful smother from one of the Columbus players. And it goes to ground once again. It's a hard footy out there right now as a bunch of players are battling for it. Columbus has it now, looking to get it out. Quick handball winds up going to Nolan, going to ground, but then Columbus picks it up, and they're streaking away and they kick it ahead right now looking for their forward line it's bouncing it will not sit for her and one of the lady demons gets her hands on it now and boston looks to move it ahead a little kick forward there and uh, another player gets it she's able to handball it off and here we go once again lady demons giving chase now that one's going to be soccer to head off the deck right into the hands of a lady demon who's then wrapped right up what originally started as just a soccer off the deck winds up selling a player into trouble and now here we go the kick goes up and further and takes a weird bounce off the edge of the ball though off one of the uh, ends of the ball and kicks out of bounds we will have a boundary throw in but it will be a good result for the lady demons as it comes in their left forward pocket First quarter action, so far no score between the Columbus Jewelers and the Boston Lady Demons as it comes out of the boundary throw and off a couple of hands goes to ground. Columbus with it now trying to move it to attack and the kick going up the far wing and it looks like that's going to roll out. And it looks like we'll have another boundary throw in. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Free kick to the Lady D, so that one did go out on the full actually. So they're setting the player up for her free kick right now. Start her walk up and get it to the boot. That's a nice big kick going in. Oh, just off the fingertips of one of the Lady Ds, and Columbus gets it right now. She is wrapped right up and hauled to ground, and Boston brings it back, but that player hauled right down as it goes to the hands of Katrina Shearer, it looked like, and it goes off and up and almost marked in front, and she's got it. She's wrapped up. She's dispossessed. One of the Lady Demons players, and a kick from Columbus gets smothered. Nice job there by the Lady Ds, and once again, a big scrum for it. She kicks it toward the goals and goes off a person, and it's going to roll and hit the behind post. And obviously, since it hits the behind post, technically it's out of bounds, but since it bounced off the ground first, it'll be a boundary throw in and not a free kick for a kick out on the full. And it goes back in, tipped down, and Columbus will get it now off of that uh, boundary throw in as it heads back toward the corner, and it looks like once again, we'll throw it in from the boundary. Actually, no, I'm sorry, free kick awarded to Columbus. So the Jewelers from their back left pocket 
kicked right into the hands of a Lady Demon, and she's going to take it right there. And actually could have a fair shot at goal from here. Let's see what happens. She gets it, kicks it in. That's looking good right now. That's looking straight. Doesn't have the distance. It'll bounce a little bit and roll over. It's through! It is through, and the Boston Lady Demons start off the scoring with a major nicely done by the home club. Nice kick in there, a little chase in front, but uh, the ball was able to get through those big sticks. I hear a couple of people saying, way to go, Tracy, so I'm assuming that is a Tracy Toner of the Lady Demons. As once again, we get set to toss it up at center. Right, this is the uh, starting here, the ball up place. first. And the ball will get tossed up, and once again, the Rucks will go to work, and here we go. And they do ball it up, and we're back to action here as the uh, Boston Lady Demons do draw first blood, and they get the goal, and they lead right now one straight six. And so far, no scores for the Jules but Jules looking to push it forward now. Battle forward along the center. The ground, it comes up. And here come the Jules now. And she's, oh, well, it's almost a throw. Get away with the disposal. And she's brought to ground, and we've got a whistle. And it'll be balled up by the umpire. Tosses it up for grabs and once again. Jill's trying to move it ahead and right now the handball goes out toward the far bottom, the, actually the, uh, the near wing here. Kick now looking for a target and all oh, bounces off the head of one of the Lady D's and it's coming through. And the kick right there and marking it there. I believe that's McKittrick. McKittrick for the Jillaroos with a chance to get Columbus's first point to the match. And she's just going to wait, take a run up, get it to the boot. That looks pretty straight. Does it have the carry? No, it actually is going to go and roll through, and it will be a single point. And that was Stephanie McKittrick, also known as Macca, who took the mark there. Actually, was that Macca? I'm sorry, it's not Macca. That was uh, number 22. Uh, once again, I'm kind of, kind of running uh, guessing here because I don't have any rosters, so as is uh, the situation sometimes. But uh, here we go now. And... Lady D is now kicking it out of their back. Goal square. Goes off a of Jill hand, heads for the boundary. Columbus there, they pick it up, and they're trying to move it back into attack. Fumbled handball there, and it just goes up. And here we go once again. They've got it to the boot. It uh, goes over and uh, off of a Lady D. And here comes Boston now. Boston with a handball over. And let's see. Brought right down. She picks it up, and then goes right back down. Stolen away from her by one of the Lady Ds, but she can't get the clean control of it. And once again, it's just going to go off the ground. And Columbus now with a shot in, and that's going to go through. Let's see, that's traveling, and that's going to go for another behind. Made it all the way, rolled off the ground, but just uh, off the mark a little bit. So right now the score stands. The Lady Demons, one straight six, and the Jillaroos, two behinds, two. And once again, this is a Kaylin deal for the Lady Demons. Take the kick in out of her back goal square. Looking for a target on the far boundary. A couple of players jump for it. Uh, neither of them get it. And now Columbus looking to kick it back into their forward area. And that's going to roll over. And that'll be out. So that'll be a boundary throw in. Early action here. And once again, it's tossed up for grabs. And... Uh, Columbus once again kicks over everybody's head. It's going to roll to the pocket. Will it stay in? Yes, it will. But then it'll go off a hand, and it looks like it goes out. Indeed, it does. Good result for the Jillaroos, uh, uh, though, as now they get the uh, throw in in their own back uh, in the old forward goal square. I said enough of their forward pocket, I should say. First game of the season, folks. Just shaking off the rust here as the uh, throw in comes in, goes through a bunch of hands, and then uh, put toward the goals by one of the uh, Jillaroos, and it is. Deemed by the boundary umpire to be out of bounds. So once again, we will toss it back in and put it back in play. Toss back in once again. Goes to ground. Jillaroos get a hand on it, but that's about it. Really tough footing on the ground right now. And they're just going to kick it out along the side. And that'll go out, but that means uh, they move it a little further from the Columbus goals, which is a good result for the Lady Demons. Toss back in, and uh, both rucks miss it, but the Jillaroos get it. Now, once again, they kick it in, and that's going to be, did that uh, land in or not? Uh, yes, it's a boundary throw-in. Wasn't sure from the angle here. Wasn't sure if it landed inside the boundary or if the kick went out on the full. Indeed, it landed inside the boundary, so once again, they'll toss it up for grabs. And goes back in and back out again, so we will have another boundary throw-in. And 
and once again tipping off. Lady D's have a possession for a second, basically. They went to just kick it out. One of the Lady D's goes to ground now, and uh, she gets right up. Took a bit of a tumble, and uh, let's see, Columbus working for it, but once again a battle. Lady D's working to get it in position. There is a whistle, and someone got pinged for a throw. I believe it's going to be a free kick to the Lady Demons. Lady Demons with a free kick. I believe that's the indication. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it went to the Jillaroos, not the Lady Demons. I didn't see. Uh, I saw Bruce uh, Bruce Rogers. He was pointing to the mark, not actually to the uh, the possession. So that was a Jillaroos free kick. Lady Demons getting ping for a throw. Once again, action out on the far boundary. And once again, the free kick going to Columbus after that bit of activity. And getting set and getting it to the boot. A nice kick there and almost intercept marked by one of the Lady Ds. Jillaroos get it back, though, and they've got a couple of players in there, and they just kick it ahead now. And it's rolling toward their forward area, and it's going to be rolling out of bounds. So we'll have a boundary throw in, but still they were able to gain some meters on that. So a good job there for the uh, Jillaroos and a good result for them. And, oh, she's dispossessed just before she got rid of the ball, one of the uh, Lady Demons players. And now, the, once again, the play goes along the far boundary. Lady Ds have it now, and they look to move it, and here we go. Handball goes up, and they're just going to try and get it to the boot. There we go. Big kick into the forward area for the Lady Ds. It's going to roll toward the goals. It'll be taken by the uh, Jillaroos, though, before it can get there. And the kick goes uh, well off to the wing, and still in action, still in play. Kick now toward the center of the ground. A couple of Jewelers there. None of them, uh, neither of them can mark it. But they all almost are able to get it. But uh, one of the Lady D's is going down in that contest. And a whistle is blown. And they'll ball it up once again as the umpire calls for it. Punched ahead by the Jewelers. Try to get it to a teammate. No clear clearance there as the uh, Jewelers Ruckman was trying to hit it out to advantage. And she's taken now and wrapped up. One of the Lady Demons has the ball and then just wrapped up and uh, kicked ahead once again. Boston with it momentarily. Columbus takes it back now. Columbus has had most of the ball in uh, recent history, although once again, uh, the Demons did have that one kick that went straight. So right now that's a difference in the score. One straight six for Boston, two behinds two for the Jillers who are coming back right now and moving. She's hauled down, and that's going to be holding the ball. Free kick, Lady Demons. Trying to move with the ball there. Before she could cleanly dispose of it, just uh, tossed away. And uh, tossed in, uh, once again, kicked over. And I believe that's Amanda King with it right now. She has it, picked it up, and is able to elude the tackler, kicks it toward the goals, and then it takes a bounce on the edge of the ball and winds up in Columbus' hands once again. And that, that kick actually, she tried to kick it to a teammate, bounced off of uh, somebody, and went out of bounds. But it was above the knee, so it's not an out, out on the full kick. It's actually just a boundary throw in. And once again, almost hit out to advantage by the Lady Demons. And the Jillaroo is working on it right now. She's hauled down. No prior opportunity, though, so no uh, kick there. And then she picks it up, and she's tackled again. Lady D's laying some tackles there, and after a while, the ball gets tied up, and umpire Bruce Rogers will just call for it and say, nope, my ball, I'll take it. And he tosses it up for grabs and goes out to the wing. And once again, Lady D's have it. She's dispossessed, though, and here comes Columbus again. They try and move it through. Lady D's get in the way, though. Another kick. This one's headed in to the uh, goal area. And there's a race for the ball now. Who's going to get there first? It'll be actually it's a tie. One of the Lady D's and one of the Jillaroos. Jillaroos came away with it, though. And a kick. And, uh, oh, not quite marked up the boundary. But they're uh, trying to handball it up now. And once again, moving now. Center of the field. They're trying to bring it through the corridor. Right up the guts. And Lady D's get in the way. And they bring it back. And it's kicked back toward the Lady D's attacking end of the ground. And it's going to roll, and will it make it in time? Yeah, it actually uh, still in play, but then the Lady D's player picked it up, and she got hauled down. And once again, a ball up by umpire, umpire Bruce Rogers. He tosses it up for grabs. Punched ahead. Not to advantage, though, as one of the Lady D's was right there. And she's fumbling around with it, and it'll be a boundary throw in as the ball goes out of bounds before it was cleanly picked up. And let's see, it actually just goes to ground. Nobody there. 
Once again, a pile of bodies. And it's kicked back out toward the boundary. Joe Roos have it now. Handball attempt. Winds up in the hands of Lady D. She kicks toward the uh, sticks now. And let's see, that's going to run, wind up going through. And I believe it's going to go out. And it'll be a boundary throw in. Still a good result for the Lady Demons, though, as it is. A boundary throw in from their right forward pocket. If they could just pounce and get a quick kickoff, maybe a snap or something. Jill Roos appear to be tying it up, though. And a loose, let's see, it's kicked in towards, and I believe we've got a whistle, maybe a free kick. Looks like somebody got, got caught high. And the umpire Bruce Rogers is awarding a free kick. And the free kick is going to the Boston Lady Demons. So a free kick well within the range of goals will give the Lady Demons a chance to expand on their lead now. Kick all right to the person on the mark, and then she kicks it out toward the boundary. And then moved up. Here come the Jewel Roos with it now. Back now, and once again, kicking it going through the corridor. Kaylin Deal is there, though. She will pick it up. And then she gets tackled just as she gets it. Another lady D gets it. She's tackled, but she's able to get it to the boot before she is brought down. Up, Joel Roos have a bit of a path now. She's coming up the corner, takes a running bounce. Nice job there. She's headed for the goal. And, oh, she sprays the kick a little bit. And it's going to, oh, it's actually going to roll out and it's going to go out of bounds. And as a result, we'll have a boundary throw in. It's a good result for the Joel Roos as it's going to be from their left forward pocket. Nice little bit of move right there, right through the middle. Uh, almost tapped out. And one of the Lady D's has it. She's able to kick it before she's hauled down. Going in for their, uh, going in for the ball there, one of the uh, Jackaroos, Jillaroos rather. We'll see the Jackaroos later on in the next episode. And once again, it's tied up. And we have a ball up. And it goes to ground. Try and bring it back. Nothing doing so far. Columbus with it now, and they've got some space. Handball goes off, takes a bounce, but she's got it. It's able to, she's able to pick it up off the ground as it sits for her, and she kicks it ahead. And a race for it, going for the far boundary. And there we go, that's quarter time. And so far, the Lady D's, they've only had the one kick, but so far, that one was straight, and they lead. At quarter time, the score stands. The Boston Lady Demons, one goal, no behind, six points. And the Columbus Jillaroos, no goals, two behinds, two points. We'll be back next with second quarter action. You're watching Women's Footing, it's Columbus versus Boston, and you're watching it right here on Stateside Footing. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com, find your team, check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We want the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. Just about ready to start second quarter action. And right now, at quarter time, the score stands. The Boston Lady Demons, one straight six. And the Joe Roos from Columbus, two behinds two. And they've tossed it up, and we are back in action now. And Joe Roos once again seem to be getting their hands on the ball a little more often, but so far they really haven't been able to capitalize. They've got more scoring shots, but uh, neither of their shots went straight. In fact, there was another one late in the first quarter that uh, was headed for the goals, but then rolled off to the side. So that, that could have been either another score for them, which wound up not happening. As the uh, ball is near the goals right now, and there's a big battle for it, and a handball goes off. Tight angle, tries to kick, and I believe that's been sprayed. Oh, actually, it's still in play, or is it? Let's see what the umpire's determination is. It's a boundary throw in, so it's getting tossed up once again. And oh, it's a whole bunch of hands. <laughs> tossed up once again, and <coughs> goes back to ground. And once again, we've got another uh, whistle and another ball up. Lots of congestion in that part of the ground right now. One of these teams trying to clear it. Jillaroos have it momentarily, but then the kick goes and it goes across the face of goal. And uh, did it wind up going through or not? Let's see. Oh, actually, I do see one flag, so it did go through. Would look to go across the face of goal, but uh, went through. 
between the big and the small stick for a behind. So a minor score to start off the second quarter. So it brings them closer, but right now the score, Demons, Lady D is still doubling up. 6-3 right now is the score as they take the uh, kick in once again from their back goal score. It goes well down the far boundary. It looks like we'll have a boundary throw in. A bunch of players were chasing it. I wound up just going over the line. Actually, I'm sorry, that was a free kick. Free kick to the uh, Jillaroos. Blocked in front, bounces off one of the Lady Demons. And once again going to ground. And it looks like we will have another ball up. Actually, no, I'm sorry, another free kick awarded to the uh, Jillaroos. Within range here, so this good kick goes up. And let's see here. It actually hits the ground beforehand, and she gets it to the boot. And let's see here. Is it touched? What goes? What, it's still in play, actually. Looked like it was heading for the goals. And she's able to kick it now. She gets it to the boot. And looks like it went wide. A single point once again. So right now, the uh, Jillaroos have had four scoring shots to the Lady Demons one. However, the Lady Demons were able to make theirs count. Jillaroos have kicked four behinds. Six to four right now, the scores. Once again, the Lady Demons bring it out and almost marked on the far boundary. It goes to ground and once again, a bunch of bodies going after it. And we've got a whistle. And I believe it'll be a boundary throw in. Indeed it will be. And it gets punched out, and once again, the Jewelers have it. They kick it up the ground, and almost uh, taken there, but uh, they fumbled it. And once again, the ball goes to ground. A bunch of players battling for it. And it's out. Someone uh, was able to get it out, and then another player picked it up. She was dispossessed. The ball went back to ground, and now the Lady Ds have it. She's able to take three steps, and is still able to get it to the boot count of sorta, or was she? Let's see. Nope, that ball's still in play. And... Ball looks to go out of bounds now. And once again, we'll have a throw in. I'll show you, they'll, they'll just call a ball up. And uh, bounces off a bunch of players once again. Headed back for the boundary. And I believe that's where it went. Balled up once again. Punched out. Kicked ahead by one of the Jewelers, but that kick got smothered. So once again, the ball is still in that general piece of real estate. And it goes over the boundary this time, and they will have a boundary throw in. Tossed back up. The Rucks will get into place to go after it. Uh, no clear how to hit out to advantage, and it's kicked once again toward the boundary. And a roll there. There's a race for it. She fumbles it, and it looks like it went over again. And once again, you had a lot in that particular piece of real estate. <laughs> Once again, going out of bounds. It's almost like Groundhog Day. We keep playing like the same five seconds over and over. Ball gets, you know, things get balled up and then kicked right to the boundary and uh, rolls over for a boundary throw in. And <laughs> once again, it's Groundhog Day. Let's replay that five seconds again. One of these teams needs to get a clearance from somewhere. And the Lady D's trying to move it ahead. Jillaroos pounce on it. And uh, now the ball's loose. And out of that particular stretch of ground, it had been ensconced in for a while. And, oh, they had uh, a, one of the Jewelers on the run, but the ball bounced past her, didn't sit for her, and she couldn't pick it up. Otherwise, she would have had a clean shot for goal. And let's see here. That's a goal. They finally got it to the boot and finally got a major. So after a lot of tries, I have no idea who kicked it, but all of a sudden, the Jewelers have hit the front. And right now the score, one goal, four behinds, 10 points for the Columbus Jewelers. Just the one goal for the Lady Demons. And they'll bring it back to center and ball it up again. <laughs> and knocked out uh, to no clear advantage. However, Lady D is trying soccer it ahead. And it's kicked across the ground now, looking for a target. Wasn't the target they were looking for, though. Intercept marked by the Jillaroos. 
And she'll look to get a player out on the wing. And, oh, she marks it. Juggled it for a second there, but was able to hang on to it, control it, and get the mark. And now she kicks it ahead, looking for another teammate. Goes right past her. And it heads once again for that uh, boundary line in the forward pocket. And then kicked out wide. And that's going to be out. And we'll have a boundary throw in from another part of the ground. Second quarter action here. And it'll take it out and uh, knocked ahead by the Lady Demons. Jill Roos trying to pick it up. There's a race for it. The Lady Demons, one of the Lady Demons actually almost had it. And then get knocked to ground. And lost the ball. And the ball's still on the ground. Kicked ahead, though, by Boston. And Boston trying to get that lead back. But uh, everywhere they try to go, there are those uh, pink striped jumpers in there. And once again, it goes along the ground, hits a foot, and they're still trying to move it further ahead. Lady, uh, the Jillaroos have it now. There's a kick in toward the goals, looking for a target, and it's actually going to be wide, so it'll be another point. So now it's 1-5-11 for the Columbus Jillaroos. Demons still at one straight six, and the Lady Diesel take the kick out of their own back goal square. It falls short, bounces, and then winds up in Lady Demon hand. She's wrapped right up. And then one of the Jewelers has it, and she's wrapped right up. Some really good tackling from both sides today so far. And they're just going to ball it up again. But they're balling it up in the shadow of the Columbus attacking goals. So once again, the Jewelers with a possible opportunity here. As one of the players has it now, she kicked it. It's smothered. She was kicking, uh, trying to get a scoring shot in there. And once again, she gets it to the boot, and it's headed for the goals. And it looks like that's going to be a goal. Another major score for the Jewelers. And this quarter has been all Columbus. Five scoring shots in this quarter. And so far the Lady Demons haven't even gotten into their attacking end of the ground. So the ladies from the Columbus have come to play and they are rocking it right now. And they'll bring it back up to center. So right now, the Jillaroos are 11 points clear. And Lady Demons trying to move it ahead. With it now, that's Amanda King. She handballs it off and tries to get it to one of her teammates. Not quite happening. Actually, one of her teammates has it now, but then she's dispossessed. Has kicked to the other end of the ground. If it sits for her, she might. Oh, she can't pick it up. If it had sat for her, she would have had a chance to maybe get a few steps in. But kicked ahead now and marked. Marked on the far boundary. And the Lady Demons now with a chance to chain a couple of possessions together as they kick looking for Kaylin Deal. That kick is spoiled and then taken away and brought back the other way by Columbus. Big kick goes in and it is marked. Lady Demons looked like they had something going, but then Columbus just taking it right back. Takes a weird hop off that uh, edge like the Aussie rules footy tends to do. And goes in once again toward the goals. There's a race for it. Trying to prevent a possible toe poke, and indeed they did. And, oh, nice intercept marked by the Jewelers. And she's just going to take it and run with it. And it looks like that's a straight kick. And let's see. Didn't see. Oh, actually, it went wide. It did go wide. So now it's 2-6-18. So basically, the, the uh, Jewelers have two majors and a major full of minors. 2-6-18 for the... Jillaroos, and for the host club, the Lady Demons still one straight six. As uh, once again, the uh, kick in attempt for the Lady D's doesn't get far as it uh, winds up going toward the uh, far boundary, and they'll call for a ball up once again. And uh, not quite hit out. Uh, the uh, Jillaroos ruck was right there, but then she's brought down as she picks it up. One of the Lady Demons tackled her, and it went right out. So once again, we'll have a boundary throw in. Up it goes once again, and handballed off. Kicked ahead, that's smothered. Once again, a big group. And so far, everyone's trying to get the possession, but the, as soon as they pick it up off the deck, they are getting tackled as it gets kicked in now toward the goals. And Lady D's kick it out away. And it's out on the full. Kick went in toward the goals. One of the Lady D's defenders picked it up, tried to kick it away. Unfortunately, the kick went a little wide. And as a result, out on the full, so it's a free kick to the Jillaroos. 
and she's just going to try a centering ball, looking for a target in space. And let's see, there's a race for it now, down by the goals. And it's uh, actually no one's going to win that. It's going to go over the boundary line first. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it did. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I thought that uh, went further down. Uh, once again, from my angle, sometimes it's hard to see. But that's another major score. And now things getting a little out of hand here for the Lady D's. At one point, they were leading 6 nothing. They were leading by a goal. Now they're trailing by three straight kicks. And it's tossed up once again. And Lady D's looking for the clearance. And here they go. They kick it out. They're just going to play it along the boundary. And she's got it off the bounce. It does a nice job sitting for her. Handball ahead to Deal now. Deal wrapped up as soon as she's gotten it. And no prior opportunity, says the umpire. No free kick. So it's brought up now. The Jillaroos are on the march once again. Handball taken. She's got some space. She's going to get it to the boot. And it's going to bounce. And it's going to roll. And who's going to get there first? Yeah, it looks, let's see. Looks like he got over the boundary. So. Boundary throw in. But once again, though, in the uh, Jillaroo's right forward pocket, kick, uh, the uh, ball bounces, goes across. And now here we go. Lady Demons, fat side of the ground as they uh, now bring it up to the corner. Almost marked. And the uh, Jillaroo's just get in there with that pressure. Jillaroo's applying a ton of pressure so far. She's got it now. She's wrapped up. She's able to evade the tackle and then kick it out wide. There's a race for it now. Looks like the Lady D's might win it. Won't sit for her though. And then she's taken down, the ball is shepherded. And uh, as the player was shepherded off the ball, the ball changed direction and rolled out of bounds. So we will have a boundary throw in. Time running down in this second quarter. And the Lady D's need some points and they need them now. As it's, she gets it to the boot just before she's tackled. I believe that was Kaylin Deal. She was looking for Amanda King, but it was intercepted by Columbus. And once again, they kick it to their attacking side of the ground. And it's going to roll, and it's going to roll. And looks like we'll have a boundary throw in. Once again, in the Jillaroo's right forward pocket. So up it goes. And try and hit it out to advantage. And it winds up going close to the boundary. Lady D's have it. Oh, that's, let's see. Oh, that did land in bounds. I thought that kick might have been going out on the full, but it's still in play. And kicked back in by the Jillaroos. And it's going to kick, and it's going to roll. And how, how will it roll? Let's see here. I believe that's another point. Thought I saw one finger from the umpire. Indeed, I'm seeing one flag, so that was indeed a minor score. But that now brings us to 3725. As once again, the Lady D's kick, kick in from their own back goal square. And that one's marked. She's going to let fly. Looking for a target. Not quite, but it's picked up. Lady D's now moving. Handball through the corner. There's a race for it, but she's right there. It sits for her. And let's see. She stops. Is able to kick it now. Looking for a target up front. And a not quite intercept marked by the Jillaroos. Handball goes off. Picked up by one of the Lady D's. There's a race for it now. And she's kicking towards the goals. The ball's rolling towards the goals, but taken in defense by the Jillaroos. And they kick it back. And that kick is almost marked. But once again, they're heading for the near boundary. Kicked and nice spoil by the Lady D's toward the boundary there. And then popped off and that'll be a boundary throw in. And throw in goes and lots of corner of the Jillaroos and they'll just handball it off. And there we go, that is halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. And a huge second quarter it is for the Columbus Jillaroos. A total of eight scoring shots in that second quarter. They came into this quarter trailing 6-2. to two, And at halftime right now they lead. The score being Columbus, three goals, seven behinds, 25 points. And the Boston Lady Demons kill that just that single goal, one straight six. Coming up next, third quarter action. Continue to bring this to you. It's women's footy, Columbus versus Boston first game of the 2017 season, and you're watching it right here on Stateside Footy.
getting ready for the second half to begin as right now Columbus off to a big lead as they had a huge second quarter wrapped off eight scoring shots, eight unanswered scoring shots, and they currently lead 3-7-25 to one straight six. And getting set to uh, get the third half underway. Bruce Rogers getting everyone in position, getting uh, ready to put the ball up for grabs. Here we go. Ball goes up, and it's tossed up for grabs and hit out. Looks like to the advantage of the Jillaroos as they continue uh, their ball use, although it's picked up now by the Lady Demons to try and move it ahead. And kicked toward the sticks, and it's on the roll. Uh, there'll be a race for it, though, and it looks like uh, it'll be picked up by Lisa Arredondo of the Lady Demons, and then she's racked up and dispossessed. And the ball will roll out of bounds, and still obviously a very good result for the uh, Jillaroos as they get the boundary throw in deep in their right forward pocket as it gets tossed straight up and hit out. Once again toward the uh, the pocket there. Handball goes through a set of hands. Lady D's uh, looking to pick it up right now. Can't quite do it. Punching ahead. And here we go. Shot now coming in on, on the goals here. And it's loose and it's rolling. And it looks like it's going to be tipped. And, and the goal post gets knocked over. <laughs> <laughs> and the one flag goes up, but that's another scoring shot for the Jillaroos. So that brings it up now to uh, actually, technically, if you count the first quarter, the Lady D's had the first scoring shot, but then after that, it's been all Columbus. And with it now is Lisa Arredondo. She will kick it out of the wing, and it's picked up there by Kaylin Deal. And now uh, she gets it to the boot, and that's a nice kick. However, intercept marked by the Jillaroos. And now they kick it in. Bunch of targets lining up there. Wants to go to ground though. Bounces over everybody. And bounces, <laughs> takes a pinball bounce actually off a few sets of legs. And then kicked forward by the Lady Demons. And now there's a race for the ball. Who's he going to sit for? It uh, sat for Amanda King for a second there, but then she was dispossessed. But she's going to get the free kick. Now, I didn't see the umpire signal, but uh, Amanda King will get the free kick for the Lady Demons. And she gets off a mighty boot and goes right through the hands of her intended target, goes to ground, and once again a scrum in that end of the ground, far boundary. Lady Demons kicking it toward the goals though, and let's see, it'll bounce, it'll roll, and who'll get it first? Let's see, Jill Roos will, and it's marked, and they're gonna roll with it. Picked up by Boston, and kicked ahead. With it now, that's King. King wrapped up by a couple of Jill Roos. And let's see, holding the ball, free kick, Columbus. Just tried to get the effort going, just tried to get something, tried to get through those tackles, but in the end, the tackles prevailed and the free kick has been awarded. And the Jillaroos are off to the races once again. Kick bounces uh, through this quarter. And the Jills have it now. They stop, uh, she's wrapped up. And we've got a whistle and a free kick. And the free kick being awarded to Boston. And she's just going to handball it off to Kaylin Deal. Deal now centers it up. Tapped over and kicked ahead by the Lady D's. And did that go through or not? That kick went toward the goals, waiting for a determination. And there's one flag, so. A minor score for the Demons, their first score since the first quarter. And now it's 3-8-26 to 1-1-7. As Jill Roos bring it up through the corridor. Good ball use there as they move it ahead. And a handball, she's got it now. She's got some space. She gets it to the boot. That's going straight. Lisa Arredondo spoils it, though. Keeps it from going through. And then it's kicked out to the side. And that's going to be out on the full. Nice defense by the Lady Demons. But then, in their zeal to get it out, sprayed the kick a little bit, winds up going out on the full. So it'll be a free kick for the Jillaroos. Nice job there by Lisa Arredondo. Kicked in front, centered, goes through everybody, and then taken by the Lady D's, and now just kicked ahead. And there's a race for it. 
Will it sit for her? Doesn't quite sit for her. She has to stop to pick it up. But then she's able to get it to the boot, though, so no holding the ball. Julie Roos have it now. She's hauled down and is able to get the handball off somehow. And there's a battle for it in front. And uh, once again, the ball goes to ground. And we've got another ball up. Lots of activity between the uh, Julie Roos and the Lady Ds. Lady Ds right now need to pick up some points, cut this deficit. Because right now they trail by 19 points. As the kick goes, uh, once again, uh, toward the uh, pocket. And Arredondo trying to shepherd her opponent off the ball. And she's able to kick it ahead, but right into Julie Roos' hands. And that kick, oh, that just goes wide. And that's a single point, but another scoring shot for the Julie Roos. Now 3-9-27, so that lead now back up to 20 points. Arredondo taking the kick in from her own back goal square, looking for, not quite getting one of her teammates, it goes to ground. Julie Roos have numbers over there, they've got a few jumpers over there. And she's hauled down. Big battle for it there. Soccer to head, just trying to toe poke off the deck. And the ball is loose, and handball to head. And Kaylin Deal has it now. She gets it to the boot. And nice Boston skip right up to the, right up basically the side. Amanda King has it there, tries to move it further forward, but then the Julie Roos take it once again. And let's see here. Battle in the center, basically. And she is hauled down. And we've got a whistle. And it's being tossed up once again by the umpire, Bruce Rogers. Head out. Not quite to an advantage by the Jewel Roos, but then the Lady D's handball it right back to the Jewel Roos. Kaylin Deal almost takes the mark in defense, and she's staying right with it. And we've got a whistle, and, and it'll be tossed up for grabs once again. Up we go. And kicked ahead. And then back to, oh, that one skips out far. Kicks. Here we go. That one's looking to me. Oh, that's went uh, just just a bit short. Just a bit short, but another minor score. 3 10 28 now. And once again, Lisa Arredondo with the kick in. Looking for not quite getting her target, and it's intercept marked by the Jill Roos. And she's going to take a bit and just. Oh, she's just going to let it fly. And let's see in front. Marked! Kaylin Deal with the intercept mark. That was beautiful. Lady D stout in defense here, both Arredondo and Deal. A couple of really nice plays from them today. And let's see, uh, can't get the uh, chain of possession to continue through the center of the ground. And we got a whistle, and it looks like it'll be balled up. So once again, we'll get tipped off. And let's see here. Lady D's have it right now. They're going for the far boundary, and oh, the kick. Somewhat smothered, bounced off one of the uh, Jillaroos, but then kicked ahead. The They're still trying to move with it. And oh, we've got a player down, it looks like. And a whistle. And it looks like it'll be balled up once again. Tapped ahead. And oh, one of the Jillaroos just picked it up off of the, uh, basically picked up the crumbs, started running with it, then got wrapped up by one of the Lady Ds. And so now, one of the Lady D's just kicks it ahead. And handball goes, and Jill Roos kick it ahead. Just looking to make something happen here, and once again, congestion around the ball, and the umpire will call for it, he'll say mine. He'll toss it up for grabs once again. Heading through the midway portion of the uh, third quarter now, and still, Big lead for the Jewel Roos. Kicked ahead and, oh, taken by the Jewel Roos after that Lady Demons kick. And let's see here. It's out on the full. It'll be a Lady Demons free kick. So Boston with the free kick. That's Kaylin Deal. Puts it back into play. And it's a contest along the boundary. Goes back to ground. Bunch of players going after it. And once again, we've got. Uh, Almost tantamount to a rugby scrum there. And they'll ball it up once again. 
Bruce Rogers tried to uh, clear out some of the area as he uh, put the ball. Oh, weird kick, took a weird bounce, and uh, goes right into Jillaroo's attacking territory. Lisa Arradondo was there. She's got Kalen Deal with him. Uh, Kalen Deal with her, I should say. Sorry about that, Lisa. And uh, that's kicked out all out on the full. Once again, a uh, hasty attempt for the Demons to clear the uh, back area. Winds up in a kick out on the full and a free kick for the Jillaroos. That's just a centering ball. It'll take a hop and uh, spoiled by one of the Lady Ds. Goes back toward the boundary and I believe it will be tossed in again. I guess not. I thought it had gone over the boundary. It hadn't gone over the boundary yet. But by the time I said, oops, it hadn't gone over the boundary, it had gone over the boundary. So once again, they'll toss it up for grabs. Knocked to ground. Jillaroo's all over it once again. They try and bring it back out. And here we go. She's got a clear space. Oh, kick was heading in toward the attacking area, but then went off someone's foot. And rolled out of bounds. So once again, we will have a boundary throw in. Up we go. And goes off a bunch of bodies and goes back to ground. Jillaroo's on the move once again. And she is wrapped up. And oh, she's able to get the handball off, though. Right to a Lady D, though. And she's got some space to move. Handball's out to the wing. And she makes some space, too. And she gets a nice kick off looking for and getting a target right there. Huge, huge mark there by the Boston Lady Demons. She's got the free kick. Question is, does she have the range? Can she do a scoring shot from here or not? Taking time. And she starts her run up. And uh, the kick goes uh, short and wide into the pocket, still in play for the moment. Kick toward the goals. And that rolls through, and I think that'll be a minor. And indeed, that's a single. So the Lady, point, uh, Lady D's cut the uh, margin back to 20 points now. And let's see. Oh, holding the ball. As the uh, Jewelers look to move the ball in after that behind from their own back goal square. And then uh, there's a tackle. Holding the ball was called. And it's another free kick for the Lady Demons. And that kick heading in toward the sticks. It skips and... And that looks like a goal. Waiting for the determination from the goal umpire. But the, they actually, they're bringing it back to center. So that was... Uh, for a while, actually, actually, the first time in this match, the Lady Ds have ripped off two scoring shots in a row. First one a minor, second one a major, and now it's a 2 2 14 to 3 10 28. Lady Ds right now still, still 14 down. As the Jewelers bring it back to their end of the ground now, very quickly. Uh, getting in there, though, that's uh, Kaylin Deal once again. And she makes the tackle. Ball goes to ground, and let's see here. She's got a whistle. And I believe pay, uh, holding the ball was paid, so Kaylin Deal with the tackle there. She gets the free kick, and she gets it to the boot now, looking for, and uh, just missing a couple of targets there. But the Lady Ds have it, and they get it to the boot. Lady Ds trying to work on this momentum, trying to get some, something in the tank for the fourth quarter. Now important fourth quarter. Let's see, we get a whistle from Bruce Rogers, the umpire, as he once again calls for the ball after it's tied up. So once again, he's spreading people. I was like, okay, it's getting too crowded in here. And a bit of a, bit of a battle of the, uh, the, the hit outs there. It was basically a hit in because both hands hit at the same time for both players. Lady D's kicking ahead now, and there's a race for the ball. Who's going to get there first? It's going to continue. And there's another kick from the Lady Ds. Could this be two in a row? It looks like this might be. It's a goal. Lady Ds, three scoring shots in a row, two goals in a row. And they're storming back, getting some momentum ready for the fourth quarter. Now the margin is eight points. 3-2-20 against Columbus's 3-10-28. And what could be shaping up to be a very interesting fourth quarter in the cards here. as they toss it up to center once again and punched ahead by the Jillaroos. To advantage, it looks like, as they're on the move with it. Here we go. She's right there. Makes a kick, and I believe it went off a hand. And Kaylin Deal is getting in there right now. She falls over it. She's got it now. And she gets it to the boot, is able to get it to Lisa Arredondo. Arredondo has it now, and she's just going to get it to the boot, and it's 
Almost intercept mark there. Nice spoil by the Lady D's, but here it comes back once again, and it goes over everybody. And battle for it now. A bunch of players going after it. And, oh, she hit pretty hard there. Hope she's okay. Look, Mike, look. we've got a whistle here. And the uh, Columbus player was taken down in that tackle. And then the old, uh, when you hit your back on the ground, your head snaps back. I think that's what happened there. I think her head may have hit the ground. And they're going to call three-quarter time right now as they uh, look at the uh, Columbus player. And I believe, uh, yeah, they're going to be calling for uh, a medic here. So uh, while they uh, tend to that, we're going to take a break, and we will be back for fourth-quarter action. At three-quarter time, the score stands. The Boston Lady Demons, 3-2-20. And the Columbus Jolaroos, 3-10-28. An exciting fourth quarter of action is on tap. We'll bring it to you next right here on Stateside Footy. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com. Find your team. Check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We won the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. Fourth quarter is almost here. And this game got a lot closer in the last few minutes of that third quarter as the Lady D's came up with uh, two clutch goals in uh, quick succession. And now the score as we head into this fourth quarter of play. The uh, Columbus Jewelers still in the lead, but not quite as much as they were at halftime. 310 28 to 3220, the current margin. Uh, 28 plays 20, I guess, as they would say, down under. And they're getting set to put the ball up for grabs once again. As the horn goes off, the whistle goes, and here we go. Ball goes up. We've got footy. And one last quarter of this women's match between Boston and Columbus. And the Lady Demons have it quickly off the ruck. And here we go. They kick it ahead now. There's a bit of a race for it there. Amanda King in pursuit. And uh, let's see here. She's pushed down. And the ball still in play. Lady D's going after it. Nice job there. <laughs> nice job giving up uh, the space and just going in, going after it, getting, getting in over the footy. Showing some courage there. And uh, they'll ball it up. Lady D is still more than uh, a straight kick out of it, so they need to get back in. Jillers have it right now. She is brought down. And let's see here. We've got a, a free kick that's being... Is it a free kick or is he just going to throw it in? You know, he's just going to ball it up. He's just going to ball it up there. John, how are you? Um, and they tap it ahead. Lady D is trying to work with it right now. Kick going in toward the goal. They've got somebody lined up there. She's marked it. Lady D's have a mark. It's in close. She's within range. We could have a scoring shot right here that could bring this to within two points. And the kick, it's going to go a little wide, and it's actually going to roll out. Still a good result for the Lady D's, though, as it uh, is going to result in a boundary throw in, in their uh, right forward pocket. And they go, as you hear the inimitable ice cream music in the background. Uh, let's see here once again, uh, goes down. Lady D's have it now. She's got some space, but then she's hauled down. Play on calls the umpire. And there's a big scrum for it in the shadow of the Boston attacking goals. And once again, the umpire will call for it. And it'll be uh, put up for grabs. Here we go. Get ready to crumb. You hear the call from the, uh, the ladies out there. And it goes to ground. And it winds up in Jillaru hands. And goes to ground. It'll be a race for it. Jillaru's get there first, but they're dispossessed. And once again, a kick toward the goals. And let's see here. It's going to roll and take a bounce. Still be picked up, though, and the Jewelers once again looking to move it out. They dodged a bullet there with that mark deep in uh, Boston attacking territory. And we'll have a boundary throw in from the far wing. They get tossed in there. Rock's looking to catch up to it and kicked in once again. Here we go. Going for it. And oh, it's almost marked by the Lady D's. She's got it now. Nice shepherd by Amanda King. And she's just going to kick a grubber there. And it's going to go off a couple of hands. And Jillaroos will get it again. She is hauled down, gets it out. And is that out, the, out on the full? Let's see here. Yeah, the Jillaroos player who got the, uh, got the ball, but then uh, she kicked it while she was in the grasp of that tackle. Did the ball go out of bounds on the full? No, I guess it didn't. They're doing a boundary throw in. All right, 
Yeah, boundary throw in. So, once again, it uh, goes in tight and goes down to ground. Joe Roo's trying to move it ahead. Lady D is showing some, uh, showing some zip right now. And we've got a whistle again. And oh, hang on. We've got a free kick that's been awarded to the Jewel Roos. The umpire just had to make sure someone was on the mark. And now she gets a kick out, and that's marked. So the Jewel Roos starts to bring it up the wing. Kicked ahead, and takes a bounce. And they move it further ahead now, and looking for, oh boy, nice mark there in defense. I believe that was Kaylin Deal who picked that up. Nice job by the Lady D's in defense. And now they'll just look to move it back. Kick goes ahead here on the wing. And almost marked. Spoil there. And the ball is loose. But it looks like the Lady D's will have numbers there. Pretty close to the boundary, though. And it looks like it did finally go over. Can't quite see what's happening from here. But uh, here's a boundary throw in, though, as it goes over. And... Battle for it once again along the ground. And we've got another whistle. I believe it was tied up. The umpire's just going to call for it. Indeed, it was tied up, so the umpire's just going to call for it and do it again. And let's see. No clear advantage off the tap. And we've got a whistle. And someone gets pinged for a throw. And so the free kick will be going to who? Free kick going to the Jillaroos, so one of the Lady Demons. Pinged for a throw, free kick awarded to Columbus. <laughs> and the kick goes, and let's see here. Goes off of a couple of hands and winds up, let's see. That kick goes across the face or did it? Let's see. Let's see the, it's one flag, so that's a single point. So we've had our first scoring shot of this fourth quarter. It's a behind for the Jillaroos. They now lead by nine, 311-29 to 3-2-20. And now the Lady Demons kicking it in from their own back goal square. Inter almost intercept marked though by the Jillaroos and kicked ahead. Lady Demons looking to move it out along the boundary. And she's able to get it now, looking for Amanda King. Sits for her now, she's able to handball it off. Lady D's on the march, she is dispossessed. It goes to ground. And the Jillaroos will take it back right now. And it goes over her head and knocked out Kaylin Deal on the ball right now and she's got it. And Tries to handball it off. Jillaroos have numbers for the moment. And then she is wrapped up. Nice tackle by the Lady D's. Jillaroos still have it, though. And they'll try and kick it ahead. And kick goes back in. And, oh, the kick. She caught the kick, but apparently it was, uh, wasn't 15, so it wasn't considered a mark. So she gets taken down. And as a result... <laughs> Other way, they say the uh, kick was actually awarded to the uh, Jillaroos, but the uh, Jillaroos player was pointing the wrong way. So she was about to take the kick, and her teammates are screaming, Other way! Other way! Oh, uh, let's see. Did they, award, did they award the mark? Yes, they did. She did have control of it momentarily before she bobbled it. So they did award the mark, so she's got it now. And let's see. They, they just get her online with the mark. And she kicks in toward the sticks, and let's see. It goes through everybody. And where did that wind up going? That's another single flag out there, so that's another single point. So that's 3, 12, 30 now. So it's now a 10-point lead. Still within two straight kicks if the Lady Ds can get them straight and get them down there. And the kick in from the back goal square winds up bouncing over one of the Lady Ds, but she gets it to sit for her. And now here we go. Take, oh, just about taken by Amanda King, but it's spoiled. But the Lady Ds had it momentarily. She is dispossessed, and we've got a whistle. And it looks like a free kick is being awarded. Free kick being given to the Lady Demons. So Boston's got the free kick. A little bit of an infringement out there on the wing. And she kicks it now, and it's going to take a bounce. Get tapped ahead. Lady D's almost had it though. She gets wrapped up. And handballed ahead. And a lot of Jillaroos jumpers in there. Let's see here. Once again, they'll toss it up. A lot of Jillaroos pressure there. 
popped ahead off of the ruck, but then here we go. One of the Lady D's has it now. She gets it to the boot. Oh, it's gonna dribble, and oh, it's gonna be kicked, and it's gonna be a rush behind. One of the Jewelroos defenders got in front there and was able to kick the ball to the side. That might have been rolling to the side anyway, but uh, Jewelroos not taking any chances. So it's a nine point gain again, 3 12 30, the 3 3 21. As the uh, kick comes out of the back goal square, Jewelroos have it now and they're looking to move it up the near boundary. Marked by the Lady D's. And that's a nice high kick. Trying to line up somebody, almost marked. Who's gonna come away with it now? There's a big battle for it. Lady D's have it. And there's a kick in that. Looks like it's gonna be turning and, oh, it bounces the wrong way. But there's a shepherd. One of the uh, Jewelroos has it. Loose ball, King has it now. Oh, Amanda King can't get it to the boot. And she's pinged for holding the ball. Columbus gets the free kick. Amanda King, what an effort there. She just couldn't shake those tackles. And, and holding the ball was adjudicated by the umpire. But the uh, kick goes wide and that's gonna wind up going to the boundary. So still not a bad result for the Lady D's as the kick still is within their territory as far as the, uh, the throw in. But time's running down. Lady, D, Lady D's need to get something going here. And let's see, it's kicked up through the center of the ground. There's a race for it now. And it looks like it'll be run, uh, won actually by Kaylin Deal, who gets it to sit for her, and then gets herself some space. She kicks looking for King, and Amanda King has marked it. She needs to take some time so they can get some targets up front. She does kick it, they've got a target out wide. She's got it, she's marked it. Play on, play on calls the umpire. And almost marked. And, oh, you can't get it. And let's see. Uh, Kick down, it's a goal! It's a goal! Big scrum there, it was kicked off the deck, a toe poke through the big sticks, and we're within one straight kick. And right now the score stands, the Lady D's 4-3-27, Columbus 3-12-30, three points is your margin, and this one's coming down to the wire. Lady D's within three points right now. 30 plays, 27. And let's see where it comes out uh, right now. Lady D's trying to take the clearance. That kick is smothered. Joe LaRouze will pick it up, trying to make them some space. They get it out to the far wing now. There's a race for it. Joe LaRouze will get it, and they'll kick toward the goals. And let's see here. And it's brought out back to the boundary. And kicked out, and... Intercept marked almost, actually, did they call it a mark? Nope, actually she's just gonna take it and play on and kick and let's see here. And that's a goal. Lady D's were coming back, but uh, what they had to do there, they couldn't give up a, a major on the other side and they just did. So now we're back uh, to a two kick game. And so right now it's 4-12-36 to 4-3-27. So right now we're back to uh, what a nine point, nine point ball game. So it's a two kick game once again. After after that great toe poke and pressure, yeah, the, the Lady Demons had their chance, but was that last goal? Is that the stealer? I don't know because here come the Lady Demons now. Oh, she's pushed off the ball, dispossessed. She's still able to get it back though, and then she's able to get to her feet and just kick it toward the Demons' attacking zone. And let's see, Jolaru's kick it out. And it's marked. And now time is ticking down. Time the Lady Demons do not have. And Columbus, right now, they're just going to take the kicks, mark them, and then take their time. Kick goes up there. Almost marked in defense by Kaylin Deal. She's able to get it now, and she's along the far boundary. She kicks a dribbler back up through center, but it's taken there. And here come the Jewelers once again. She's able to get it to the boot. And that one's headed toward the... Goals, but it's going to be a single. It's going to be a behind. So now it's 4-13-37 to 4-3-27. So we're talking about a 10-point match here. Lady D is kicking it out from their own back goal square. Looking for a target along the wing. It's spoiled, brought to ground. And big battle for it on the far boundary. And kicked off the deck ahead. Kicked away. Nice job there. 
by one of the Lady D defenders. Still a big battle for the ball there. Kick, and here we go. Lady D's with it once again on the march. They tried to get it out to King, couldn't do it though. And here come the Jewelers once again. They've got some space. Here we go. She's got space now. She gets it to the boot. She sprayed it wide, but it's marked. Marked in defense by the Lady D's, and they're just going to move it through right now. And kick back, the, it might be bending through, and goes off a set of hands. And she's still got it, she's able to kick it, and snuck it through that goal post. And I think that's pretty much going to be the ball game as they get another major. Just snuck that one in through the goal post. And now once again, it's a three kick game. 5-3, uh, sorry, 5-13-43 for the Columbus Jillaroos and the Boston Lady Demons, 4-3-27. So the Lady D has fought back, made it pretty interesting. But if you look at the difference in scoring shots especially, I mean, once again, 13, 13 minors. That's all you need. Oh, boy, we had a player brought down. And looks like uh, holding the ball, free kick. So the Lady Diesel have the free kick. But they need points and they need them in a super blinding, fla blindingly fast hurry. And ball goes to ground after that kick. Wrapped up by Aradano. And gets tossed up for grabs once again. And out to the wing. She is wrapped up. And let's see, we got a whistle. Oh, I believe she might have caught her high. It's a free kick going to uh, the Jewelers. Free kick, it looked like actually a free kick off the ball. And it's marked and there we go. That's the final siren, the final horn. We are at full time. And for this first match of the 2017 stateside footy season, the Columbus Jewelers have held off a big challenge from the Boston Lady Demons and have come away victorious. The final score. Columbus Jewelers, five goals, 13 behind, 43 points. And the Boston Lady Demons, four goals, three behind, 27 points. Well, the game may be over, but we're not losing stateside footy that quickly. Coming up next, a special stateside footy flashback featuring one of the stars of the NFL Women's League, Jessica Wichner of the Bristol Lions. We'll go back to her days with the Boston Lady Demon next, right here on Stateside Footy. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com, find your team, check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We want the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. Welcome back to Stateside Footy. Since this year was the inaugural year for the AFL Women's League Down Under, we thought we'd replay one of our old games featuring one of the stars of the new league. We present to you Jessica Wuchner, who's now a member of the AFLW's Brisbane Lions, but had spent some time with the Boston Lady Demons a couple of years back. This is our Stateside Footy flashback featuring Wusha and the Lady Demons taking on the New York Lady Magpies. And the ball goes up, and we have action once again. And it's the Lady Pies and the Lady Demons, perennial re rivals here, Boston and New York, as the ball goes to ground. And immediately we will have a whistle, and it'll be tossed up for grabs once again. Tossed up again, and hit out, and in Lady Pie hands. Lisa Ray gets with it now. She kicks it ahead, looking for a target, but it's not going to get there as it continues to roll wide. Regetz has it now. Handball's back to uh, Bearsdorf. She kicks it ahead now, looking for, and then not quite finding her target there. That was uh, number 40. That was uh, Claire Algozin. And uh, Lady D is trying to move it up now. And, uh, oh boy, here we go. Wush has got it now. wuchner has got it, and she kicks it ahead. That's a beautiful kick. Goes over everyone. Look at that. She's get that Look at that. Oh, my goodness. All the way. Ha, 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 ha. What a goal by Jessica Wuchner. That was a bomb. On target, just made it all the way, and all of a sudden. Wow. Magnificently captured by Stacy Robert. So Jess Wuchner 
with uh, she had one in the previous game. She has one here, and that's a great way to open the scoring. That had to have traveled about 60 meters on the run, straight out of the MCG. <laughs> nice. By nice Jess reference Ruchner. there. And there she is she's again. Gonna, running bounce, and she's going to get it to the boot. Uh, not quite as uh, much of a bomb as the last kick. Winds up in magpie hand. She'll kick it ahead now. And uh, let's see, there's a battle for it. Uh, just almost going to the boundary there. And going for it, uh, one of the Lady Pies there, along with uh, that's uh, Karen Stabline for the Lady D's, and also... Uh, Lady Pies, I believe that might have been, uh, was that Bayersdorf? Yeah, that, that is Bayersdorf yeah. there and a uh, free kick to uh, Stabline. Stabline now. Kicks it, nice job looking for. Oh, not not getting it to Emily Real. It just uh, kind of drifted over her head, and here we go now. Casillas gets the ball out to one of her teammates, but it's intercepted by Stabline, who then kicks it up toward the forward line, and it just goes past the outstretched hands of Sang. And who's going to get there now? Oh, I think uh, Wichner tried Again. to knock it off the deck. And that's another goal. Wow. Off the deck. Welcome to the USAFL, Jessica Wuchner. And for those of you who may have uh, not watched the first episode of, from, this, uh, from this tournament, firstly, uh, go back and do it. And secondly, uh, Jess Wuchner, uh, uh, just a matter of weeks ago, was playing for the Western Bulldogs of the AFL Women's Comp. She was drafted number 17 by the Bulldogs in this year's draft. And uh, she's come here as part of the uh, USAFL's Australian uh, Player Exchange as uh, we have a throw here. She threw up the ball before hitting it. So free kick to Boston as uh, – it is, it is uh, Karen Stabline who goes in short, but it's picked off by Wolf, who come back in the other direction. It's going to one hop in, and uh, King can't get to it cleanly, and then uh, uh, picked up again by uh, Algozin. Algozin is taken down, picked up again by Hinojosa, who uh, was uh, dispossessed and harried there. Again, Algozin is there. The ball's on the deck. They chase after it. Bayersdorf wheels around and kicks for goal, but it's off to the side for a minor score. Good persistence by the Magpies, who... Uh, you know, we haven't seen them so much on the back foot so far this season, but uh, after two quick goals by Wusha there, uh, that's what they've been. So it's 12-1, to 1, back to an 11-point game. All right, Dan, Delisha Olsen takes the kick from her own back goal square, looking once again for her target there, Emily Real, working in the uh, Lady D's engine room there at midfield, and it uh, goes to ground right now, and Lady D's look to hand it off there, and uh, Schultz tried to get it there. She's got it now. Uh, is it not able to get past uh, Regget, but I don't know... Uh, she no tried her opportunity. Uh, it almost looked like she might have gotten. Uh, there was a chance she could have gotten pinged there, but uh, she didn't. She's trying her dribbling skills there, or soccer there dribbling go. skills. And we have a whistle as uh, both players are brought to ground, and the umpire will call for it and just toss it back up for another uh, a ball up there. Up it goes once again, and hit out by the D's, and Reel's got it now. She's wrapped up immediately by Regatz, who gets it now and actually gets it to the boot, and it's marked. marked. How goes in? Let's see if it goes in. Yep. She's Al, Al goes in there. <laughs> She's backing up a little bit. Yeah, that's about where you want to be. Olsen on the mark. Nope. Oh, Good my. Mark. No, that's where you want to get. Yep. That's where you want to get right there. Sam Wolf. That wasn't a howler. Ah, ooh. <laughs> the wolf has struck. And that's the first major for the New York Lady Magpies. Now they trail just by five points. It's two straight 12 for the Lady Demons and 1-1-7 one, one, for the Lady Magpies. This is uh, developing into a very, very good game here and definitely, uh, I think, a lot different from the last two games that we've seen these two teams play this season. You know, it's, it's funny because Wuchner's getting the two goals so far, but you don't want the Lady Ds to be completely dependent on her for points. Real gets it ahead right now, and it's going to be, uh, it's actually going to take a bounce, a weird bounce, and it continues to go through the uh, toward the goals, and kicked off the deck once again, and it looks like it's going to be a, a point as we've got a couple of players going down. It's like uh, Sang in there for Boston. I don't see a signal. I wonder if it crossed the line first. Checking on the Magpie player who's still down. It looks like they both went after it. I think it might have been a clash of shins there. And indeed, that was Taylor Davidson, the fullback, who is just now getting up. Still no determination about uh, whether or not... Uh, but it looks like she's taking the uh, kick in from the back goal square. Or was it just a free kick awarded? I still haven't seen a flag from the goal umpire view. Uh, we, we'll, I have not. Uh, we'll assume that was a free kick. There was contact in there. 
And let's see, the ball goes once again, uh, New York trying to get it out of danger. And uh, just about uh, going after it there was uh, number 10, who once again, we don't have for the Lady Demons. And with it now, that's uh, Lester Ruggett's once again. Gets right around uh, Emily Real, sells some candy there, puts one along the ground, and it uh, sits, at least momentarily, for the Lady D's. And nice shepherd there. And it's uh, kicked off now, and that was, kick was uh, number 18, which is uh, Christina Glenn. Loose ball now at the center of the ground, taken there by Siobhan McHale who then gets wrapped up. Free kick. Looks it, yep. Free kick going to Sam Schultz. Schultz, I believe, for the free kick. I think the umpire determined that there was prior opportunity. Nothing. That's a gorgeous kick as it goes uh, basically over everyone. Giving chase right now one of the Lady Ds who we don't know because we don't have her number. And a bunch of players go down and tackle. We've got a whistle. And the question is, will they ball it up or did they award a free kick? And they ordered a free kick, and it's going to Woosha. Worcester's got it. Heck of an angle, but uh, maybe she can uh, deliver it in front. I will be shocked if she doesn't score from here. And let's see. That's going to uh, be a scoring shot, but I think it went a little wide. Yeah. So it's going to be a minor. But that means that the Lady D's uh, uh, lead is back up to straight kicks now. 2-1-13 to 1-1-7. So right now they lead by a major score. And, and yeah, and, and Wuchner, you know, as I say, I joked about it, you know, you should be able to hit from that angle, but that is very difficult. But I'll tell you what, it's a good even game for the most part, even though Boston's had, I think, a little bit more of the territorial advantage. New York is really fighting, and here they come forward again up on that far side. Bearsdorf is going to dig for it. Will it catch the line? Yes, it does. And a good job of harrying over there by Christina Glynn uh, as well for Boston. 13-7 the the score here in the third and final game of the East-West uh, Showdown here on Stateside Footy. Brian Barish alongside Bill Robert. Great to have you along as well here as uh, women's footy here in the USA and uh, really growing. And this is a fantastic uh, one of the uh, a uh, few all-women's tournaments that we've seen here in the USAFL, but it's good to see them and good to see it here in New York. The ball ping-pongs around. It's picked up by Real. She handballs it on. The kick for goal. It's kicked on the way. That's a goal. And it is, in fact, a goal there by number 21 for Boston. Another mystery player. As we mentioned, and I, I believe there actually may be one or two uh, of the players for Golden Gate to help them make up the numbers as well, in addition to New York. But in any event, uh, there's another goal for Boston, and that's now a uh, two-straight lead there. It's 3-1-19 to New York, 1-1-7. And they'll bring it up to center once again to toss it uh, up for grabs. And uh, going after it now for the uh, Lady Demons, 22, who once again we don't have. Um, but I'm wondering if that's one of, the, uh, one of the other gals from the uh, Iron Maidens. Coming out now and uh, with it. Here come the Lady Pies. That's Hemingway. Kick, uh, Hemingway kicks it, looking for a target. Spoiled there by Andy Williams. And uh, trying to get it there is uh, Hina Hosa. Off the uh, boot there from Byersdorf. Byersdorf, yep. And it's marked in defense once again. Alicia Olson doing such a great job on that Lady Demons back line again. She is so solid back there. And she just uh, looked like you might have ski jumped that one a little bit. But it was marked. Taken there by uh, Kaylin Deal. Good to see her back up again. She was down for a little bit. Although, is that? It's number four, but that doesn't... Is that Kaylin Deal? I don't think that... I I'm not that sure. Like her. I'm but not sure. Anyway, we'll... we'll, we'll they may have it. swapped jumpers okay. there. As we mentioned, there are a couple of players from some of the other, from the other teams that are, uh, again, helping them make numbers. We are playing 14 aside, by the way. At least that's what the chatter was before the game. We need a table in the middle like basketball so people can report substitutions and things. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, one of the Lady Deves tried to uh, wrap it up there, right, tried to pick it up and uh, do something with it, but she was corralled, just taken down by one of the New York players. And we'll have a boundary throw in as the ball did go over the line. Once again, tossed out on the far boundary at center. Uh, I believe that's uh, Wuchner once again trying it. And uh, now the Lady Pies have it. And they're trying to advance it. Going back, Lady D is a bit of a handball there. Then uh, knocked down by one of the Lady Pies. And the ball goes to ground once again. And uh, with that there, that's number 46. It's Amalia Ridwan. And the uh, ball goes back to ground now. And, yes, we're getting back to Agro Twister now. And, oh, tried to grab it, ran into a wall, and That's they're just Sam going Wolf. to ball it up. Sam Wolf uh, just hangs on there. They'll ball it up. And uh, Lady D's having now. Bit of a handball right into traffic, though. Almost like a rugby scrum in rugby league. You just put it in there, and 
bounce it out. Or as they call it, a lean on. A lean on. When you're not strong, I'll be your friend. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I know that reference kind of withers. But anyway. <laughs> that was that was the better joke. Thank you. Stick with that one. Okay, and uh, once again, the Lady D is trying to move it ahead, and it bounces into Lady Pie hands momentarily, and they're trying to advance it, and it winds up uh, going o over the line, out of bounds. But once again, a good result for the Lady Pies as they get the uh, throw in in their forward pocket, the right forward pocket, trying to get some numbers in there and work with it. Knocked away by Emily Real, though. Kept in, though, momentarily there. That was number 28. That was Jenna Nevins. And one of the Lady Pies gets wrapped up. Lee. And it was Julie Lee with it. She weird, gets wrapped up. Weird to see Heather Serpico having to come in and take the ruck there. Sort of attritious. <laughs> and a fist to the head. Now, almost got it to Wolf, but then taken by the Lady Demons. And she does a nice job getting it to the boot. However, did it go in? or it, Not. One yeah. arm up. One arm up. So it uh, did not go out on the full. Nice break for the Lady D's. Better to give up just the boundary throw in than the free kick. And it's tossed up for grabs once again. And it goes through everybody. Lady D's have it now. Handball goes out. Here comes Boston. Oh, nice little bit of a selling the candy there. And the loose ball, however, not uh, picked up in time. And Ashley Singer had it momentarily. With it now is Reggett. She is tackled, but not before she gets a handball off. That's Bearsdorf once again. Lady Pie is looking to move. Wolf's Wolf. got it now. Wolf gets it to the boot, and that's a goal. Yes. That's her second, actually, her second major. And once again, they bring the uh, deficit back to only a straight kick. It's now 2 9, uh, I'm sorry, 3 1 19 for the Lady Demons, 2 1 13 for the Lady Pies. Wolf doing a very good job of getting away from the defender there, who is Sarah Maguillon, who is uh, one of the players for San Francisco, who is, uh, again, uh, helping out with the Boston uh, Lady Demons on this side. But a great job by Sam Wolf, who's been one of the players who's uh, been around this Magpies team for some time, and one of these veterans that really has stepped up along with the rest of the team for the team success there. So it's back to a one-goal game. Out of the center, as Hemingway is in there with the ruck, and then uh, 21 uh, for Boston is able to wrestle it away. Handballs it on. Smothered. Smothered. Picked up by Bayersdorf. We have a whistle. And it's going to be a high tackle free kick to the uh, Bears like to New York. And yep. it will be Bayersdorf who was caught high. Again, the deficit just one goal. And both teams, I mean, this is a very, very even contest so far. And it's good to see really from both teams. Bayersdorf's kick is long and strong. It'll take a bounce. Getting over is Hinojosa. Chased by Olsen. Olsen gets her foot to it. Uh, I'm wondering if that was out first because that might be out on the full. But uh, I think indeed there was there were some appeals for out on the full, but it looks like it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a uh, no. It is going to be out on the full. Yeah, uh, Olsen was just trying to get her foot to it, and but she was too close to the line. That is in fact out on the full. So here is Kim Hemingway from a rather acute angle. And she is another one who is very very capable of hitting a shot like this. Hemingway's kick is up high. It's wow. a goal! Wow! I told you! Wow! There we go. Well, Kim Hemingway says you don't have to have played in the AFL to hit a shot like that. And uh, I mentioned in our first, in the first broadcast, Bill, that uh, she has really stepped up as the star of this team and can do just about anything. She helps out in the rucks. She helps out, uh, you know, she runs hard, and she kicks goals like that. So we are all square here at Tibbetts Brook Park, 3-1-19, each of two, as we near the end of this first half. I was actually hoping Jason Holmes had a kick like that in his uh, AFL debut just so I could call it the star-spangled banana. Or you can call it the homing pigeon. There you go. And now it uh, comes out of the ruck once again. Uh, Lady Pie is looking to move it up ahead. They've just leveled the scores. They're looking to hit the front now. Big kick into Lady Pie's attacking territory. And it'll take a bounce and then just uh, skip away before Julie Hansen can get it. Jamie Hansen. That's an M. I know. That's, that's my handwriting. I apologize. Oh, uh, that's, that's an, is that an N or an M? That's an M. That's, that's Jamie an M. Hansen. Okay, Jamie Hansen. All right. Later, we'll provide the English to Barish Dictionary. <laughs> Coming out of it, uh, tapped there by uh, Bayersdorf. She's not able to get into the boot, though. Lady Pies looked at Lady Me the Demons, rather, looked to kick it out. Handball now right into the hands of Kim Hemingway. Oh, boy, here we go. That's going to go in. And that's a minor. minor but it's still enough to uh, put the uh, Lady Pies in front. Right now, the score stands Lady Pies 3 2 20, and the Lady Demons 3 1 19. And uh, 
Lady D's kick it out. The mark is taken after the kick in from Alicia Olson. And it's now being kicked further up the field. Lands just short of Emily Real. And Lady Pies looks to run with it again. With it there is uh, Grace Caplow. And we've got uh, what looks to be a free kick. And she'll be getting the free kick. So another opportunity for the Lady Pies here. Lady D's put on the pressure early, but right now it's all New York. The home club here looking to get a win out of today's activities here. And it goes in. It's marked, intercepted. Nice job there by the Lady Demons. And now what they did need to do is chain some possessions together and just get it up forward. Uh, still looking for something. Something, anything. Anything, Bueller. Bueller. There we go. And it goes to ground once again. And the Lady Pies kick it right back into the zone. And Olsen's there along with... Um, one of the other Lady Ds. Olsen gets it to the boot now, and out on the full. Out on the full, free kick there for the Lady Pies. Olsen's been sort of like a hoover back there, sucking up everything that comes out over there. Oh, she's been grabbing a lot. That that mark she took on that kick by Estrada, though, was especially nice. Yep. And especially after uh, she had just uh, done, done a really nice smother and then gave up the free kick on holding the ball, but then came back and responded. And the Lady Ds actually bounces off the hands of one of them, the uh, free kick there, and uh, trying to move it ahead, but they're stuck in their own back pocket. Kick goes ahead now, and it's marked. Ashley Singer with the intercept mark on the far end, far wing here, I should say. And she just lasers one in, looking for a couple of uh, teammates. Doesn't get to either of them. The Lady Demons run it out now. The kick goes, and it looks like it'll roll and be out of bounds. So it'll be a boundary throw in on the far wing. You're right just about at center, Brian. Directly across from us. Again, it's a one-point lead to the New York Lady Magpies. A very, very good game here as we near the end of the first half. Straight up in the air, bounce down. Wuchner is over there. Check. No, that is Wuchner. Wuchner is going to turn on the Jets. That one is kicked inside towards 50 and marked by Real. Emily Real. This is about uh, the distance that she cut through the wind against Denver when she was uh, with the Lady Demons uh, and three years ago at Nationals. The kick is on the way. It is dead center. Perfect goal to the Lady Demons and Emily Real with her first. And the Lady Ds have poked their nose in front. They go to 4-1-25. The Magpies at 3-2-20. It's a five-point game. Emily has left the area, so she's no longer regularly playing with the Lady Demons. Now she's with Baltimore, Washington, which is why she's up there today. But i got to say, it is really good seeing her wearing that number nine, patrolling the ground for the Lady Ds once again. It is, and you know what? She's, she's definitely, I think, one of the most dangerous players. But speaking of which, here's Hemingway with her left foot. It's high in the air. Battle for position. Bounces over the head of, uh, of Skachizny. Skanetsny. Skanetsny, sorry. And it's out of bounds. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> And a lot of boundary throwing. <laughs> Makes it even worse is when they're right in front of you and they can hear it as the boundary throwing comes in. Oh boy. As it's hammered <laughs> out. Maggie Owen running onto it for Boston. She'll soccer it off the ground. Skachizny, Brian. Skachizny. Skachizny. Oh gosh. Skachizny. And then uh, we have a uh, tackle and a ball up. I was telling the story, there's a Canadian player who uh, plays, I believe, in Montreal called uh, Larissa Andrews Sision, and when she found out that I pronounced her name on the first go, she came down and gave me a big hug. <laughs> uh, so it pays to get those right. I don't think I'm going to be getting one from Warren when this one's done. Off the hands of Bayersdorf. Well, I think she crunch. was... That was a crunch. I think she was pre uh, preparing uh, more so for the uh, tackle than going for the ball, and then we have a whistle from behind there. That was a... Uh, that is, if you look up Crash Boom Opera in the dictionary, that's what you're going to find. Yes. Ball up in the center of the ground as Hemingway will go up, and she tries to smack it forward, but it's hit out to advantage, picked up by a stable line, and uh, almost getting the ball there, now picking it up out of uh, out of the rugby uh, scrum situation. It was Koff kicked it kind of straight up. Yep. And uh, now handball just sort of nurdled along. She's tackled dispossessed as Schultz kicks that one up high and then coming over to take the mark. Casillas. Is Casillas. Drea Casillas still playing uh, in her 10th season, still playing like she's a rookie. There's a kick on for goal. Well, I mean, like, you know, she's playing as she has been. She's just been steady and amazing. As Maggie Young goes down into the corner. That's a nice shepherd there by uh, Singer. Yeah, great job to pick it up. 
and still on that far side. It's handballed, still loose there, and then being dragged down by Maguillon. They're down there again, mushroom farming, and that will be the whistle for halftime. Wow. Interesting uh, game so far. Lady D's in the front right now. Lady Pies came back. Uh, they were actually down by a few straight kicks, but uh, came back and hit the front for a little while. But then uh, the Lady Demons get back in front. And that's where we stand at halftime. At uh, halftime here in this game, the score stands. The Boston Lady Demons, four goals, one behind, 25 points. And the New York Lady Magpies, three goals, two behinds, 20 points. Coming up next, the final half of action in this East-West showdown. And you're going to see it right here on Stateside Footy. And the ball goes up, and once again, we have action. Hit out by the Lady Pies, but right into uh, Lady Demon hands. With it now is Emily Real. She handballs it over, and they're trying to move it up ahead now. Just continue with a quick chain of possessions in the middle part of the ground. And here we go now. She's actually going to get it to the boot, and giving chase there is Casillas. It's kicked ahead, though. It looks like the Lady Pies will have it. But then getting in there, that's uh, Wuchner trying to get it, but uh, winds up getting uh, gotten there by Grace Kaplow, who then gets it to Allison Vorsatz. Vorsatz will stop, take the free kick. Very lucky not to get called for playing on there. Mm -hmm. And nice intercept mark there. That was beautiful. Sam Schultz. Yes. And she's now looking for a target. It's actually going to go wide. And once again, Casillas giving chase. And she's going to get it just before, actually, she got it just before it went over the line, but she couldn't stop her momentum, and she wound up taking it over the line. And as a result, we will have a boundary throw in in the uh, Demons attacking zone. And... We've got it now. Kick, and that's actually going to go well wide. But it's going to stay in, though. It's going to be, uh, actually, it's in play. And it kicks over. It'll be actually a minor score. That's like, no, nah, it's going to go wide. Uh, wait, yeah. huh? 4-2-26 yeah. now for the uh, Lady Demons. So right now they're ahead of the Lady Pies by a straight kick once again. Six points. And Casillas now with the kick in from her own back goal square. She delivers it now off the boot. Marked, intercepted. She's going to play on. She gets it to the boot, and that's going to go straight. Oh, no, it's going to go just. No, it's a goal. I wasn't sure. It looked like it might have gone wide, but no, that was a goal. So 5-2-32. I believe that was off the foot of Ashley Mallet. Might have just caught it there, but... Uh, you know, Boston is all of a sudden, you know, they've come out. It's very important for them to get a hot start. Right. So it's back to a two-goal lead here. And uh, we mentioned that there were a number of players for the Golden Gate uh, for San Francisco helping out uh, with the Lady Demons. That is Brett Brower in there at the Rock helping out for the Ds. And once again, they're trying to move it uh, just somewhere. And it seems to be trapped in that small amount of ground. Now goes out wide, giving chase there is Wuchner. She's got it now. Gets it to the boot. Nice pass through. It's marked, and she'll stop. So that's uh, Maggie on. Maggie on takes it now, and she will. That's a nice kick, too. Woo Question is, though, the Pi Lady Pies have numbers. And however, oh, it's almost taken there by Stabline, but then kicked out and marked. And the Lady Pies are now working it back. Heather Serpico taking the mark for the Lady Magpies. So it's been pretty it quiet today. I was just about to say the same thing. I really haven't called her name much. Uh, wrapped up now and dropping the ball. No call there. Play on, says the umpire. Lady D's have it now. Kick going over and, oh, almost marked there. And we've got a race to the ball. She's got it. Oh, she's taken down from behind, though. How is that not a call? That has to be know. something because that was not proper disposal. Well, I wonder if there's also pressure in the back, too. But uh, let's see here. It goes out to... Uh, Wide now to the edge. Real giving chase, but the Lady Pies have it now. And getting in there as well. That's uh, Schultz once again. And it's been picked up there. I believe that's Arredondo who's got it. And uh, she's not able to pick it up in time as it goes over the uh, boundary line. So it'll be another boundary throw in. Lady D's right now up by a couple of straight kicks. Seeing if they can add to that. And once again, oh, just about to bring it through was a Wuchner, but she is dispossessed. Lady D's have it, though. Handball goes ahead. Lady Pies giving chase now. And uh, 
Handball goes out, and oh, big collision there right in the middle of the ground. Regitz has it now, and she handballs it right to a teammate. That was uh, 44, Siobhan McHale, but then she was uh, taken down. No prior opportunity, says the umpire. Actually, it wasn't taken down, but just uh, held up, and uh, her progress was stopped, so the umpire will just call and ball it up. And uh, hit out to advantage by the Lady D's. And we've whistle. got a whistle and a free kick. Going to Magpies. Looks like the oh. foul was against uh, Allison Vorsoth. She'll have the free kick. Yes. And she'll just handball it off to Casillas, who now does a little bit of running carry and then gets it to the boot, looking for and not quite getting her target. Bit of a spoil there from the Boston defender and uh, both players a little slow to get up. We've seen that a few times today. Uh, the ground here actually is uh, kind of hard today. We actually, uh, for our tent, when was, we were trying to get the uh, stakes in for our canopy, one of the, one of the tent stakes just bent. The ground's a little hard today, and uh, we're seeing a bunch of players hitting the deck and then uh, taking a little time to get up. Whether or not they you know, maybe hurt or maybe bruised something or just had the wind knocked out of them, not sure. But the Lady Pies, once again, Serpico in there. But Lady D's kick and, oh, Drea Casillas almost intercept marking. She gets it now. And uh, she. Oh, look at that. Ahead. Wow. Gets through traffic, gets it to the boot, and then it falls between everybody. Bearsdorf's got it now. She's just going to do a kick right toward the sticks and giving chase there is Olsen. She won't get it in time. Look That's that. a goal. Bearsdorf gets one back for the Lady Pies. And now it's 5-2-32 for Boston, 4-2-26 for New York. And that all begins with the kick from Casillas, who is able to get away. She made a nice move to the inside, and with those long flowing strides of her, able to kick it inside. A great job by Bayersdorf to wriggle free, and then just put a, you know, put a pretty decent shot on goal, and obviously uh, you know, it went through, so that cuts it to a one-goal game. But the key to that point, the yeah. story involvement by, by Drea Casillas, she had a bunch of Lady Demons around her, but she basically just uh, parted the, the red and the blue sea. Yes, uh, indeed, and uh, she found she, she led her the ball home as McHale goes off the side of the boot. Nice, Mark! Oh, Bearsdorf again. She has been huge today. She's had some really nice plays, in, both in the game against San Francisco and this game right here. Her dad, Rob, was a long-time member of the New York of the uh, North Carolina Tigers uh, a little bit of trivia there for her. so she's gonna go back I think she's about two kicks from goal but it's a good kick she goes with the barrel it goes up gets behind uh, the defenders there it's still loose in front it's tied up now and I believe that was Schultz who was able to clear clear it out uh, McHale uh, couldn't get to it, and Wuchner is able to handball it off, and Boston's at least able to relieve the pressure. It's a crash boom opera directly across from a Serpico in the chase. It Boston keeps it going forward. It one hops in on uh, one of the Magpies there. In fact, it went in on uh, Davidson, and then uh, up free, and now it's tied up. It squirts out, and then picked up by Reggett's. Reggett's bootlegs around to the left. She steadies and kicks. It's up high, out of the, uh, out of the reach of Schultz. It's going to roll. Uh, uh, Wolf is digging in for it. There's a low tackle by Byersdorf. Play on, says the umpire. Aaron Dondo is in there. It's still loose on the ground. And then Wuchner. Oh, nice. That's all she did was she touched it right to her foot and got it free. It goes out of bounds, but that is a huge, huge clearance by Jessica Wuchner. You, you talk about ball skills, and sometimes, especially with the, with the players that are very early on in their uh, USAFL uh, pursuits, uh, as far as just getting the ball off the ground or if the ball's on a bound, sometimes they, they don't handle it cleanly. Uh, Wuchner, I mean, she's just textbook as as far as how to handle a ball that's rolling around the ground. She's done a nice job picking up a lot of these today. She makes it look so easy, but then again, she has been playing, I think, ever since she was 16. So she's still looking at it almost a decade there. And uh, there's a uh, bit of a wrap-up in front of us, and we're going to have a, a ball up there. And... Uh, so 21 for Boston is uh, limping away a little bit, but we'll continue as Brower again. Uh, she's she's been very busy all day. She went in sort of awkwardly on Serpico. Yeah, caught that looked like a side of the face or something. Yep. And she has to be down pretty low because uh, Serpico's not terribly tall. It is going to be a free kick to Brower. Brower will kick it out into the middle of the ground. It bounces in front of uh, not Kalen Deal. We, uh, I don't think that is Kalen. It may still be her. We're not sure. Uh, in any event, the Magpies are able to clear it out onto the far side. It takes a hop. It's paddled on to the side there. Uh, and then uh, Lahane is in there uh, for New York uh, with um, uh, seven for a stable line. Name slipped my mind for a second. And now they move it on. She's tied up, just gets her foot to the ball. And now it will roll very gingerly. It hits the edge of the square. 
or no, I think that's actually a pothole. That's uh, actually what that's for. So what they're going to do here is they're just going to blow the play dead because they don't want any, uh, you know, they don't want any injuries to happen. They're, that's why that cone is there. Is there some sort of hazard? So they'll play on, and Wuchner was held up there as she tried to get the ball away, and it's going to be a free kick. And the free kick there going to the uh, Lady Pies. I believe that's a Heather Serps. Serpico. Yep. yep. And so. Here we go. Lady Pies once again looking to move it ahead. They're down by a straight kick right now, and it bounces into Boston hands. And once again, the Lady Dees, uh, she takes a running bounce there, is able to get around. Nice job there, selling the candy, and then just kicking it ahead. Uh, and then kick back there. I believe that was uh, uh, Taylor Davidson in there knocking it back. And here come uh, the Lady Pies once again. I believe that was Casillas. And uh, the kick goes there, and... Kind of out and back. Lisa Arredondo gets it right now. She gets it to the boot and kicks it. Oh, almost kicks it right to Casillas, but she cannot handle it cleanly. And uh, Kaplow's got it now. And uh, I believe that kick uh, Wushner. smothered. Wushner smothered it. And let's see. We've got... Uh, no fear. Yes, indeed. Lady Pies once again looking to move it further ahead. Ball goes to ground. It's on the far boundary. Bunch of players going after it. And uh, Reggett's has it now. Lisa Reggett's. She... Uh, Tries a handball back in. Winds up almost going to Arredondo. Lady Pies have it. She is wrapped up there. Drops the ball, but no call. Play on. Calls the umpire. Kicked the head once again. Going through the center. It's just a race to the ball right now. And it looks like the first player there should be Wuchner. Nice shepherd there by Real. But unfortunately, Wuchner taken down by uh, Kaplow and also Serpico. And ball goes actually through one of the Lady Demons. I believe that was uh, Brower once again. And they're just going to soccer it over towards the boundary. Lady D's have it now. It's a bit of a kick. And let's see. No mark. Play on. Calls the umpire. And it's kicked Ooh. ahead. Takes a bounce. And oh, almost knocked aside by one of the Lady D's. They've got it right now. And the handball goes ahead. And here we go once again. Kick into the forward 50. Andy Williams giving chase right there. A couple of the Lady Pies as well. And one of the Lady Pies has it. And she's wrapped up. And we've got a whistle. That was Taylor uh, Davidson, who I believe might have been caught high. So she'll get the free kick. Davidson's really stepped up in the back line for uh, for the Magpies here. And again, her first season after playing, beginning her career with San Francisco. And the kick uh, from the Lady D's takes a couple of bounces, but then taken there by Renee Koff. She kicks it ahead. Once again, one straight kick, and this is a tied ball game. And it's going to roll out. Uh, Wolf couldn't catch up to it in time, so it's just going to roll out on the far boundary, and we will have another boundary throw in. Just past the halfway point of the second half here, the third and final game of this East-West showdown. San Francisco won both games earlier today, and uh, each of these teams looking for their first win. It will be a big win either way. As the ball is rolling out of the back, New York's trying to get to it. All hands on deck, and that one squirts up. It sort of popped out of nowhere. Olsen's in there trying to extricate it, but can't. Uh, Schultz is in there. It rolls in towards the sticks and I believe that's going to end up being a behind and it will be so it's a handy point for New York Indeed, that, that cuts it down to a five point game, one straight kick will put them in front it's 4-3-27, Boston 5-3, sorry 5-2-32, Olsen's kick in marked there by Sang, great job by Sang and now they'll look out of the back. they got to get something uh, free there for her. It's, it's looped up in the middle. It's not handled cleanly. They turn around and kick for goal. Nice spoil by Olsen there. Good job by Olsen again, keeping up some uh, very stingy defensive work. And then kept in down in the back again. Olsen just soccering it on, keeping the ball alive. And then a great job of clearing it. Uh, but it is, and it is marked uh, by one of the Lady Demons there in the back. I think I see it. That might be, uh, I saw Brower in the area, but it wasn't Brower. Up to the near side, looking for uh, number four, who has it. And she is dispossessed by Casillas. Play on, play on, no call. It one hops in. Uh, Williams is there, but she overran it. Williams, she's tackled by Davidson. It comes out, gets by Real, uh, picked up by Stabline. She paddles it on, tries to her own advantage. Lahane does a good job of uh, nudging her out of the way. She kicks it up, but a one hop in. Blocked there by... Uh, she didn't have the ball. They're going to call a tackle without the ball there. Uh, uh, the fe the uh, call was on uh, Serpico. So free kick to the Demons out in the middle of the ground. Again, they still lead by those five precious points. Looking for Williams. It's just out of her hand. Or check that. That was uh, 18, which Glenn. is Glenn. Glenn will check. kick it off to the side. And out on the full. And it is, in fact, out on the full. 
So an opportunity to, uh, I wouldn't say put the game away at this juncture, but to make it uh, a little bit clearer uh, goes by the wayside. So New York will start from the back as Drea Casillas will put the ball back in the play. Casillas, uh, a very, very important member of this, not only of this New York team as its captain, but also uh, the USAFL as its women's coordinator. And we talk about Jess Wuchner, but she was one of the uh, – uh, factors in helping her get to Boston from Melbourne. Cleared out of there by, uh, and a good mark as the clear out was by Elliot the Serpica who plays on. She goes up looking for uh, Hemingway who gets it, tries to get away from Brower and then Brower throws her off the ball. A little bit of a shadow boxing match in there. Comes back down. Brower reached for it and couldn't get it, as could Kopp. Uh, Lahane dropped it, and now it's kicked on, and it's marked by Serpico, who snuck up all alone into the forward line. She's going to calm things down and take a look. She's going to come all the way back. I don't think she has the distance, so she's got to look for a lead. She goes inside 50. It's tapped down. Olsen's back there to try and get it, but it's going to be soccered on for a goal. And New York has hit the front. I didn't see who got the foot on it at the end, but the New York Lady Magpies have stuck a nose in front, and that moves them on the 5-3-33. It's a one-point lead, 5-2-32 Boston, as we have roughly about five minutes to go here in the game. New York's first loss of the season came a little bit earlier today against San Francisco. They're trying to hold on to that a very good record. Boston looking for their first win. They're not going to give up. The ball's out of the center again. It's kicked long. It's kicked inside, not marked. To the ground it goes. And then it's rustled through for a minor score by number 10 for Boston. So New York now has a two-point lead. It's getting exciting, Bill. I mean, it already has been, but... Yeah. Olsen takes the kick in from her own back goal square, and it just uh, takes a Boston-friendly roll, but uh, nobody but Lady Paz there with it now. Renee Koff, Renee Koff takes it off the ground. Big kick into forward 50 again, and the spoil there by Olsen, but it's taken there, uh, almost taken by the Lady Pies. Lady D's working on it right now, and uh, they need to get this on the other side of the ground, and they need to do it right now. They led for a good part of this game, but right now they trail by a couple of points, 5-4-34 to 5-2-32. Almost getting to uh, desperation time now. They've got to make something happen here. And they uh, do take it off the ruck, but unfortunately they're unable to keep it. Byers and another kick. Byersdorf from the sticks, and that's another point. She's come alive in this game. She really has. 35-32 to 32 right now is the score. Yeah, she's, she's been fantastic. And so once again, Alicia Olsen will take the kick from her own back goal square. As they put up the flag for the uh, the point. And kick going out wide uh -oh. looking for a target. And nope, then point. it bounces back. And it's going to bounce right into the hands of Bearsdorf, who kicks it again towards the sticks. And it's going to uh, skip and roll and make it all the way out to the boundary, but not completely out, or is it? Uh, looks like that's out of bounds. Yeah, that'll be a boundary throw in. But once again, good result for the Lady Pies as it will be in their left forward pocket. Looking to add points. Demons just looking to try and see if they can take back the lead. And here we go. Schultz. Schultz tries to get it out to Wuchner. Race for it now along the far boundary. And that's going to go out. Still uh, not a bad result for the Lady uh, Demons as uh, they do have another crack at the ball along the, uh, the wing on the far boundary there. And kick back towards the Lady Pies territory. Race for the ball once again. And uh, Lady D is getting in and uh, getting after it. But uh, at this point, they've got to start moving it. They've got to get it to the other end of the ground. And right now, New York is just stopping them up every chance they can get. And we've got a whistle there, and I believe they'll uh, ball it up once again. But I think the idea here, Bill, is they gotta, you know, they got to relieve some of the pressure and get the ball, work the ball wide a little bit because New York's going to win those balls in tight just about every time. Well, the main pressure they have to get rid of right now is scoreboard pressure because time's are time's wasting and they're trailing. And uh, once again, uh, Lady Pie is looking to work it around there. A handball goes out to uh, Hemingway now. Hemingway gets around traffic, is able to get into the boot. And let's see here. That'll be taken through, and that'll be, uh, looks like, another point. So they, they keep giving up points, but at some point, if these uh, behinds build up too much, you're going to talk about uh, being at least a straight kick down. So the Lady D's need to work it. And uh, Olsen now trying to find real. And oh, that's it's gonna going to be a free kick. Out. 
Yeah, remember, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, uh, if the ball, um, if uh, on a kick in from that back pocket, it's got to touch somebody, but we can't go straight out. It's uh, a free kick. It's almost as if it's on the full. As the kick comes in short, they go towards goal. Wuchner, or rather, that's uh, Schultz who's in there, and then they uh, tie up. Uh, that dance, by the way, right before the behind is called the uh, Funky Kim. Uh, that's maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was a, it was a nice some nice fancy footwork by Hemingway, and like I said, there's a lot of ways for her to beat you. And you know, we've said it multiple times during the course of the of the broadcast. She's having, I think, you know, she's playing. I think some of her best footy, and we've seen that uh, not only here but uh, for the national team, and also uh, for at the uh, central regionals and racing as it skirts by. This might be the chance here. Stabline's Stabline. got it. Stabline picks it up, but she has a, a lot of distance between her and her full forward, but uh, Davidson's going to run on. It's Davidson versus Williams. Davidson has it. She's able to elude one tackler barely. She handballs it on. This is when Boston has to pounce, but in the end, it's going to be uh, Elliott who's able to get to it and kicks it away. Boston's got to uh, figure out a way to put the pressure on here. Bayersdorf tried to kick it somewhere, but she uh, couldn't get the ball to boot, and we have a whistle and that's it. That's it, full time. A very exciting game here. Uh, really, I think either team deserved to win, but it is the Lady Magpies that come home in front. And the final scoreline in the uh, final game here from uh, the East-West Showdown at Tibbetts Brook Park, the New York Lady Magpies, five goals, six behinds, 36 points. The Boston Lady Demons, 5-2-32. And I'll say this, I think both teams should be really happy of their performances on the day. That'll do it for this edition of Stateside Footy, but we're coming back. Next match is coming up. We've got the Columbus men going up against the Boston Demons, and that'll be on our next episode of Stateside Footy. Till then, on behalf of our crew, camera people, Yafim Schneiderman and Stacey Robert, I'm Bill Robert. Thanking you for tuning in. Don't forget, you can catch us online, by the way. We are online. Our website is at statesidefootytv.com. We're on Vimeo. It's vimeo.com slash statesidefootytv. And you can also look us up on YouTube. Just type in Stateside Footy. Till next time, thank you for watching. <laughs>